every Wednesday, Musicians Matters podcast, live right here at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Positive Power, 21 Christian Media, LLC. Let's go! Welcome to another podcast of Musicians Matters podcast live on demand. If you missed any of our podcasts, you can go to Positive Power 21 Christian Media LLC on the, the weekend channel or the Spotify or the Google Play or Spreaker, etc. Or you, either you can go to my website, drummersunitedinternational.com and tap in on Musicians Matters podcast. I would like to thank our sponsors, the Gas Station's recorder, Recording Studio, that's off of 2270 Losey Road, North Las Vegas, Nevada, 89030, 702-374-8574, or music, music Lessons, Las Vegas, or either Fire Public Education, Las Vegas, and Rescue Fire Prevention. That's off of 500 Casino Center Boulevard, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89101. That number is 702-229-0331. Let's welcome another, none other than Big Keith. What's going on? Yeah. How you doing today? Oh man, I'm blessed and highly favored, man. How you doing, man? That's pretty good, man. I'm proud of you. All right. <laughs> oh Stop boy, you did up. that. Stop acting up. Stop acting up. What? We got a lot to talk about tonight. I'm very excited to just to, um just to, um talk with my big brother. My mentor that's been there with me, even there through the thick and thin. Um, every every when I was, you know, down and out, you was always there, and that's what we need in this this world or this community. And I'm truly thankful that you was there, even just to give a brother a ride, or you know, just there. You know, you was you never find it'd be hard to find people like that and I thank you for just stepping in on the plate bro man I appreciate it man I really appreciate it and that's what I do man I do that for the community I do it for everybody as long as you're doing what you need to do everybody needs some help every once in a while it's okay it's definitely right okay that. man so it was my it's my pleasure man and look at you now you know what I'm saying you you said what you was going to do I said I gave you ideas on how you should do it and what you should do, and you put it together, and look, man, now you got your show. <laughs> thank God I can't be that. mad. I, I thank God for everybody. Yes, Big Bro, if it wasn't for you um, telling me what to do, um, I wouldn't have been straight, strictly right here. Um, and we're gonna we got a we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, one thing that you're gonna you're gonna be at uh, Drummers United Music and Arts Fest that's gonna be held on um, um, July the 29th. That's gonna start at 9 a.m. until 2 a.m. and you're gonna be featured there. You're gonna be outside with me. You're gonna be inside with me, bro. That's gonna be a dynamic um, session. You're gonna it's gonna be at 3660. Uh, North Rancho Suite 108. That's at Fresh Wind Ministries um, uh, under the leadership of Apostle Paul L. Kelker and Lady K. That's my leaders. So, oh, wow. bro, tell them about I'm that. I'm excited. I'm excited. Man, be I'm so excited. It's going to be on. Let them know about uh, Bully Busters, bro, because they, they have not never heard about Bully Busters 702. Let them know what Bully, Bully, Bully Busters is about. Well, pretty much, man, we created Bully Busters about 15 years ago. And, you know, I went through a little something in, back in the day where I lost a good friend that was getting bullied. So mm -hmm. let's move, let's pick it up to 2009 where it was starting to come back. 
So what I did, man, I just got a lot of kids that was really going through this because you can't fake bullying. You know what I'm saying? A lot of kids, a lot of kids go through bullying and do stuff like that, and they just, you know, it's just unbelievable. So I got a bunch of kids, and I told them, I said, hey, I'll open it up for you guys, and you got to tell people how you feel. I created a 24-hour hotline for the kids. I created a 24-hour radio station, and now this is my first year in my own Keith Bowen Art and Educational Technical School. So, you know, it's just, I'm just blessed where I can just see kids be successful, man, you know, and that's just, like today, I had a couple of kids that, you know, didn't think they was going to make it, man. They made it, man, and, you know, just to see the growth, man, is just unbelievable. I sleep good every night because I know that every day when I wake up in the morning, man, I'm fighting for somebody. A lot of people think that it's just me, but I'm old already. I fight for people every day, kids every day, parents every day. I fight. That's what I do, man, because we ain't, they ain't got nobody to fight for them. That's true. And I that fight. True. And I fight. I fight every day. You know that every day you see me, I was the same. I never change. If it's right, it's right. If it's wrong, it's wrong. But we can still fix you it. You gonna tell me? You gonna tell me? I'm gonna me. tell you. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you what was wrong with it. And you gotta explain things now because, I, like I tell a lot of parents, it ain't like back in the day when we was growing up, where the parents used to say. Don't do what I do. Do what I say. I dog it. This and that. And we had to listen. Now these kids mm -hmm. got opinions on everything. <laughs> you know, right about they talk. Back. To they, yeah, they talk back. You know, they talk <laughs> back. You know, so now you got to figure out. A, yeah, you got to figure out a way how to talk to them and still be cool with them and still get it. So instead of talking at them, I talk to them. And with that being that's said, true. man, that's just. I, I, I even even with you guys, all the guys, everything. I talk to you guys. I never talk at you. You know what right. I'm saying? I give you, I give you avenues. I give you things that you can do and things that you know. If you can't go this way, that way, because everybody's journey is different. That's true. You know. So when we created Bully Busters, we created something so kids can have an out. You know that 24 hour hotline is just is phenomenal. I get at least 20 calls a day, man. You can call one in the morning, two in the morning, five in the morning. Eight at night, three in the afternoon, somebody's picking up that phone for them kids. Then they got their that 24 hour radio station. That Just is that amazing. right there. Just that right there, the 24 hour hotline, because kids don't have anything. It's like a soda can effect. You know, and uh -huh. with the world going, the way the world is now, you know, it's like a soda can. You shake it, you shake it. What happens? It explodes when you hit the top. It explodes. Right. Yeah, so you just want to make sure you don't explode so much where you can't come back. And that's where I come in at because a lot of kids don't see the light. And I help them see light. You know, I put them on that path. Even if it's just a little light, you see it. But a lot of kids don't have that. You know, and a lot of kids, when they go to school, before they get to school, they're going through stuff. Right. right. You know, mental health, mental health right now is really, really at its all-time high. You know? Cause then you ain't talking, you can't talk to nobody. You don't have nowhere to get that energy out. You know, you have yes. to be able to get that energy out. Even with me, I have to unplug sometimes cause I take all everybody's energy. You know, I'm, I'm like the fixer. So after I fix you, I got all that energy I took from you. I have to give it somewhere. I give it to God. That's true. I, that is true. I give it all to God. Everything that I've been able to do and been able to stay focused and, you know, stay in my lane and stay out of other people's business. You know what I'm saying? My mission is my mission. And it's okay if everybody don't agree with it. You know, and don't know if nobody like everything. Then you got people that, that, that want you to do good, but they don't want you to do better than them. <laughs> you right about you know? that. You told me about that in the truck. Yeah. Hey, you know, and that's okay too. But my thing is don't let my confidence mess with your insecurities because yeah. I'm confident about everything. I'm confident about the way I walk, the way I talk, the way I dress. You know, I'm the same all the time. Yes. So when I get to the kids, man, I just give them safe places, people they can talk to, and I bring families back together, man, because I can't be in everybody's house. So what I do is no, you can't. I get the I can't can't do it. I wish I could, but I can't. That's and right. what I do, I get the parents and the kids on the same page, so they can be able to get along and. Be able to communicate, man. It's all about communication right now. Even with me leaving the 100 Academy of Excellence, you know, it's, it was time because it's going a different way where it wasn't, I wasn't effective. 
You know, and when right. you go to a place where when you go to a place and they change the culture, you know that 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 puts me in the middle of stuff. You run, and even right head. now, and even right now at my school, I get all the people now. I I get to make those decisions. You know, I know what these kids need. You know, I know need speech therapy. I know need GED. You know, they get kids get job search. They get music. They they just got they're doing. Uh, T-shirts, you know everything they do down at my place. Man, they do them cooking. Yeah. These kids are phenomenal kids, man, and they all come through where I come. Every kid that came through me that had anything to do with me is successful. Yes. Why? Because I give you that energy. Anything, and that's what anything else. And I tell my buddies, and the same thing, in, and I use this as with women. Anything you put into a woman, you get back triple. Right. All right. So if you put in, if you put in. You give a woman some groceries, what's she gonna do? She's gonna make you a feast. You make love That's to a true. woman, she give you a ba- she'll give you a baby. You know what I'm saying? Everything right. a woman do it it enhances over. You keep putting good in your woman, she's gonna put it back in you. Amen. How many times right. have you heard a woman say, You made me like this? How many times have yeah. you heard a woman say that? Why? Because if you're supposed to be leader, you gotta be the leader. That's right. Not a follower. No, you can't you can't do that as being a man. And a lot of people don't get it. And that's why even with my wife, man, I put love in my wife every day, all day, every day. So what she do to me, she put it back in me. Mm-hmm. She knows what I do. You know, and I tell her every day, man, it ain't easy being my wife. Are you serious? Are you man, I'm around eighty ninety five percent of the people I deal with is women. <laughs> you know <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then the phone rings, it's twenty four I'm twenty four hour guy, man. That's true. So I had to have a special woman in my life that be able to see my mission, what I'm doing, and be able to be supportive, man. And right now, man, that's I'm blessed, man, to be able to have that and still be able to go out and do what I do because, you know, sometimes people, you know, when you're doing a lot, you know, a lot of people don't understand your mission and they get confused about what you're really doing. Yes, that's true. That is true. That's, that's right. And even, that's an yeah, and even when, yeah. There's a lot even of people with that can't. For help. Go ahead. I'm sorry, nephew. That, what I'm saying, um, Big Keith. There's a lot of people can't um, handle Big Keith. There's a lot of people that can can't handle Roger Swift. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it because we move person. different. We move different, that makes and that's how it is, that's and it's true. okay. That's true. That's true. That is understandable. Let me well, tell you, I talked to people. There's one thing that I'm really thankful and happy about that um, we, we didn't say that you're celebrating one year. Bro, that was really exciting to be there for your first year to open up your first uh, the first day of the building. Man, was that crazy? I cried like a baby. <laughs> My brother was actually, well, he was like, he was, you was telling me, you was saying, bro, uh, I got to make sure you dress right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Man, that was a, man, that day there, man, I'll never forget it, man, because I see my stuff now. I ain't got to wait till I die and people give me my love. You know, when I go to that school every morning and see my name on it, when I see my name on that, on that building, man, that, 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 that makes a difference. Yes, it makes a big difference. That is, it makes a real big difference. It makes a real, real big difference. You just to see your name, and 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 it's 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 basically you you are are pushing your dream, not nobody else's dream. That says a lot. I do it my way every day. Every day, nobody leaves my building without getting the help they need, even if I can't give it there. You know that. Give me five minutes. You're right. I'm gonna find because I know all the I know all the resources. I know everybody. I know the people that's gonna help, and I know the people that don't. You know, and people say, like you said, we hard to deal with. It's not that. It's just that we stand for something. That's right. You know, we stand for something. A lot of people don't stand for things. They just jump on things that they think is moving and all that. And even when I created Bully Busters, you know, that's not fake. It's you can't not. you can't fake that. Everybody done been know somebody that got bullied, been bullied, been around bullies. Everybody's been for ages. And why don't you don't hear no NBA players or no 
football, F, NB, F, NFL players, or soccer was talking about it. Nobody talks about it. Why? Because it happens every day, and nobody's standing up for it. But see, I fight for these kids. I fight for these kids every day now. I got grown-ups be calling, and sometimes I tell them, I say, hey, kids ain't got HR. <laughs> you know, you know. You, yeah, That's your true. kids ain't got That's HR. Not- so, you, you know, I got to come to the rescue. And I got to come to the rescue because the parents, when somebody's bullying your kids, man, that's that's traumatizing. You you want to figure out what's, why your baby acting different. Everybody want to know your baby your baby come home from school and don't want to go back to school or this all of a sudden their whole attitude changing this. That's not that's mm-hmm. not good. Parents are not in good moods when they call. Trust me, every call that I get until I calm them down, like maybe talking for 20, 30 minutes, they upset. Yes, you're right. So, you're right. So what I got to do is calm them down, tell them which way we got to go, figure it out, and we move forward. I, I was on the phone yeah. yesterday with a parent at one thirty. I didn't say one thing until 2.20. Wow. And all you was doing just listening. That's it. That's all it takes is just to listen in the end. Man, I listen to people every day, all day. And I'm a people watcher besides that. You know, yeah. I watch people because after I lost that good friend from being bullied, you know, that made me want to watch people more, you know, see how they move. And that's why I tell everybody, check on your friends. You know what I'm saying? And it don't be no dot on their head when they're not in a good mood or they're going through some stuff. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. should know your friends when they act different. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Check on them. You're right. You're right. You're right. I, I check on everybody. And what and it, and it made me uh, what what that's making me do, big bro, is making me change my circle. When I was able to talk to you, um, you, you know, even when we, it was just about two or three minutes, just to the corner, we was able. I was able to get, you know, um, you, you you had to tell me, you know, you had to change your circle in order to get somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And exactly that's, that's right. what I've been doing. I've been changing my circle. Man, I'm so proud of you, man. Cause now look, now look, all those avenues start opening up now. Since you, when you start changing, you go through different lanes now. You can't bring everybody. John John Morant is John Morant is a good ex- example of that right now. You can't bring everybody, and it's okay. You can still hang with it, see him every once in a while, but you just can't bring them. Okay, because got you. Got your mission, your mission is your mission. Mm-hmm. And I know everybody want to help, help everybody you can, but you can still help because people say, oh, Big Keith, you're on the west side with the gangsters and all that. Bro, they need me just like everybody else. Everybody got exactly. kids. So what? Exactly. Uh, these are my kids. These are my kids. I couldn't go into a Spanish school and talk to my kids and, and be successful in it. Why? Because that's not my culture. That's true. You're and right. people don't understand, and even with these schools and black schools and stuff like that, you need to have people that's running the schools that know the culture, because then if they don't that's know the true. culture, when they meet when they meet the people that know the culture, they think that is oh you're doing it wrong or you're not doing it right. No, it's not that. It's just that you don't know the culture because it's not your culture. Yeah, can't no other race true. can't no other race tell me about my culture. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying. That don't even oh, go my. together. Yeah, for you <laughs> for you to even yeah for you to even be a different race to try to tell me about my culture, that don't go together. So now me and you have to have a discussion about why you feel like that. That's true. That is true. And you know, I don't, I don't back down. I don't back down by a good debate. I don't back down from it. No, and I'd rather, I'd rather move. I'd rather move out of situation instead of watch something fall and go through. And I was standing there and I was on the boat when it was going down. Ain't going to happen. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's not gonna happen in your book. No, no, it ain't gonna happen because that means that all all everything that I know and things that I've been doing, I wasn't be able to use it effectively. And when I can't okay. be effectively used in a place anywhere that I go, it's not I'm not gonna stay there because I'm not I don't I don't follow behind people. Okay. That's you true. know, I, I don't follow I don't follow yeah, because like I said, everybody else has mission to do certain things and when it comes down to bullying and the way I deal with it when I go to different schools and things like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting things in place where schools didn't even have until I came. I help schools get 
kids in their school. Because you imagine, if you go to two schools, right? One school yeah. said they're gonna do something to stop. One school said they're gonna do something to stop bullying. Then the other school don't say it. Which school are you gonna pick? You gonna I'm pick gonna the school that stopped doing something with bullying because that's bullying. what's going. Exactly. Yeah, that's what's going on right now. And you want to make sure your kid is safe. Yeah, that, that you know? was that. Uh, speaking of that, um, that was a mess for the past two years. You know, because everybody was in the house. You know. And it was like ridiculous that this pandemic messed up a lot of families. Yeah, because now, <laughs> yeah, because kids miss that. You got to understand, it wasn't just not them not going to school. They missed their friends. They miss going to lunch every day, talking to the people. You know, they 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 miss they miss doing a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So. Uh -huh. You know, that really hurt them. Yes, that's understandable. That's understandable. You know, so now, now their mama is telling, now their mama and them is telling them, oh, the sky is purple. <laughs> you know, you know, you got parents at home trying to teach the kids, you know what I'm saying? And man, man, God bless them. I was teaching online, man, and Lord, have mercy. Can you imagine? They trying to cook, trying to get the kids to learn. They got trying to do ABCs. You know, man, the kids were just, they missed that, man, because a lot of kids depended on school for eating. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Eating, walking just around not, the classrooms, walking around the uh, the halls. That, that That's a lot, you know, because um, I used to work in the school district. That's one thing that the kids, they, they looked at, uh, walked around the classrooms, walking around the halls, you know, just to get to the, the next period. You know, that, that, that helps you know, their mindset, you know, you know, you know, it, it helps a lot, you know. So uh, one thing I wanted to talk about is uh, February 18th, 2009, big bro. What happened on that day? Well, that was my, that was my big Keith day. And uh, that was for me doing entertainment because even when I first came out here, that was my thing. I did a lot of entertainment. I worked with a lot of clothing lines, mm -hmm. did a lot of mm -hmm. product placement. You know, on the Maury show, I used to go a lot around, and people used to dress Eddie Griffin. I used to do a lot of stuff, so I was always in the entertainment. So that that night is when I got my first proclamation. Soldier Boy came out, Ryan Seacrest. We was at the Caesar's Palace, man, and it was just a phenomenal day, man. When you get to get your own day in the city, you know, because people gotta understand, I'm not from Vegas. I'm not from Vegas, but. The people in Vegas that was born and raised here, God fathered me in. And if people don't know what God fathered me in, that's like with the people that say you good, you that you can go anywhere, we got you, you one of us. And see, people, they don't do that to everybody. Vegas is different. I'm going to tell you right now, people can come here and be here 50 years, and they still don't treat you like family. You know what I'm saying? You're right about but that. But what I did, yeah, what I did, when I came, I brought something. You write about I brought something. You write. I brought something. I didn't take nothing. I brought something from entertainment to kids to opening up doors for other people to be successful. I brought something. And I always yes, say sir. the same. And I always yes, say the same. I'm never going to change. Know, um, yes, yes. I want uh, to uh, shout out to uh, Councilman um, um, Ricky Barlow, um, a past uh, Councilman Ricky Barlow, because the reason why I'm saying that because he's the one that gave you that date. Um, um, me and him, I'm going to tell you this, um, me and him go way back to um, um, MO, EOB. Yep. I was with him EOB. sitting there watching him. I watched him go all the way up. I watched him go, you know, and you got to understand, and people, when you see other people that are successful and you're around successful people, uh -huh. you, that, autom that automatically opens up your third eye, first of all, right? Yeah. Because yeah. You start thinking like, man, I can do, man, look what they're doing. Uh huh. You know, That's I can do the same thing. thing. That's, it's just that simple. It is not like, and I tell people, as long as you do something every day, trying to get to where you're trying to go, you're going to be great. Uh -huh. It ain't got to be a lot, just something every day. Uh huh. That's true. And even with me, I have I have my days where I don't think I'm doing enough, and I get a parent that called me and say, "Thank you for giving my kids life back, bro. How much you yes. think you can pay me for that? You can't. Mm -hmm. you can't. You can't. You can't. So when people ask how much they're charging and all that, it's funny because 
a lot of stuff that I do, you know, it has, it, it, it's, it's bigger than me. This is mm-hmm. bigger than me. It's not this man. It's so much bigger than me. The world is like this right now. People bullying each other online. You know, that's why when I got the, I got the cartoon and the, the book and cartoon tour now. Well, we showing the cartoon amazing. and we got the book. We got the book with everything in the book from hidden, stealing, everything that's going on about it because, okay, now since we know about it, let's just be aware of it. Now I got to give you opportunities and things so you can be safe and effective. Yeah. Because a lot of people, a lot of people got bullied into being a bully. Because after a while, you bully me enough, you know, you keep hitting me in my head a couple of times. I'm going to have to fight back. So now, so now, yeah, man, come on, man. How many times you going to hit me in the head you get a headache and be like, okay, then, you know, and the scared, let me tell you, the worst person to do that to is a scared person. That's true. That's true. You don't want, you don't want to back a scared person in the corner, man. I don't care who you are, what, animals or anything. You don't want to get nothing scared back in the corner because it can go all bad. That's true. That's true. So now, really what I try to do a lot with kids, man, is pretty much, you know, we can, we can agree to disagree all day. You know, yeah. I'm doing it right now with my buddies. We've been arguing about Boston and Celtics, and they just want, you know, we argue, but that don't mean we fighting each other. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. You know, we might, we'll be friends tomorrow, but right now we just, you know, it's basketball time, you know, or football. Yeah. We, we agree to disagree. We don't get in each other's space, and that's where, that's where it came to, and that's why I'm going to go back to why I opened up the center because, I could have opened up clubs and did it like a lot of other people do and trying to be in nightlife, but Vegas didn't need that. Not from where I was yeah. coming from and what I was doing. I know what Vegas needed for me through my eyes, through my lens of big keeping, what my vision is. I know what it needed through me because I'm in the streets every day. I'm in 89106 every day. Yeah. And if you yeah. say you in 89106, if you say you in 89106 over there from that welfare office, from Owens to Martin Luther King, all through that area from 8 in the morning until 6, yeah, I'll tell you a lie because I'm in everywhere where people's at, even That's if I just true. drive by. You're right. So, you when I go, so, yeah, so when I go to certain meetings and talk to certain people and see things and they're like, oh, what well, we should do in the community and all this, and I don't see them guys there. But you want to tell people what to do in somewhere you're not at. And then they think you I'm being hard, but I'm just saying, answer my question. You know, you say things you want done and all that, but we don't see you. That's true. And my That's thing true. is, too, if you're doing so good and all that, donate to somebody in the community. It ain't got to be me, just anybody. Help help yeah. them, somebody that's doing stuff in the community. The village, the communities, from when I was growing up, we could always go somewhere and get some food. We could always go get some, you know what I'm saying, clothes. You know, as a community, yeah. Black Panthers did it. Sure did. Yeah, we sure. As a matter of fact, I know uh, my culture. I, I'm old. I, I know my culture. I'm, yep. See, uh, you, you don't tell them your age, big bro. Yeah, but still, I know my culture. I know where my culture came from and what I was born into and what I've seen. So now, only thing I am is just now the game ain't changed, just the players. Like back in the yeah, day, yeah. our parents thought we were crazy with the music we listened to. Now these kids are crazy. No, no, I'm just playing. I'm just saying, but we used to listen to drug dealers' music. They used to the drug users' music. Why? Because they don't have nothing. They took everything from the kids. They ain't got no schools, community centers. They ain't got nowhere to go. And it, it, Chicago, a bunch of other cities, kids ain't got nowhere to go. They no closed them all down. But that's what they, they closed they got them down. What? They got your location to go to. Yeah, man, but I'm saying like different cities and other places, they don't have it, and they want to know why the crime and everything is big. You don't have nothing to offer them or do nothing to have them be successful. Let me tell you, on Fridays, all the kids that in my school on Fridays, they doing it, they do their business plan. True story. Every wow. Friday, an hour before they leave, they do their business plan on how they want to run their business and what business they want to get into. Like now, summertime, they're doing their ICs. They do popcorn. They got they do, they doing embroidery shirts and printing shirts. Congratulations doing, on that, bro! Today, man, man, I'm just so blessed, man. To just even when I talk to my wife, man, I you know I've been sleeping good, man, because I ain't got to wake up and go nowhere where I don't know what's gonna happen. Yes, and you know you, you're not gonna you're gonna put so you're gonna put enough of my kids out where I have to show out. So before I show out. 
I'm just going to move out. <laughs> you know, I ain't always been like this. You know, trust me, man. I used to be that. You know, you yeah. mess with these kids and I see it. We got a problem. Yes, that's true. But then, that's true. That's true. But then if I see it, but if I see it and I can't do nothing there, trust me, I'm coming back. Oh, I'm coming back. Oh, I'm coming back. That's the way I am on this corners, too. Well, I'm, I'm coming back. Party, and if you're messing with these kids, oh, man, we, we have a big problem. Especially, do not hit them. Oh, no, you might. That's it. Do oh, oh, please do not hit the kids that I, I cross. Oh, my goodness. I ask them every day, how are you doing? How was your day? How did you, uh, how did you, um, like this week, they had testing day. How, how was your testing? Um, did you pass all your tests? Uh, you know, they was like, I, I think I did um, pretty good. Um, so I, that's a good thing when they say that. And it's a, it's a blessing just to see a smile on these kids' face, you know, you know, when they come from home and they, then they go into school and they know they got something to expect. Not you know you know any any fights. I I, I pray for, for them every day, making sure that they have a peaceful day. Because like you said, bully is everywhere. Bully it, it can it can meet you right at the door. Oh yeah, and it comes in all shapes and sizes, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and I'm to the point where my thing is, and even when I speak to teachers and educators and everything like that, they got to understand that I'm in a whole different lane. Uh-huh. You know, I've been researching this. I've been doing this for over 25 years, just on this thing. You know what I'm saying? Now you can go to you can go to school and be a teacher and all that, but then my whole thing is like this: if you can't control a class, you can't teach it. That's true. All right. I don't care what nobody say. They can sit there and tell me whatever you want. If you got a class you can't control, you can't teach it. So that means That's that true. if you in class, so now that means the kids ain't learning. Okay. Now, yeah. let's do this. You have a lot of kids that have IPs that need extra help. Uh huh. Everybody, everybody learns different. I don't yep. care what nobody says. Some, some kids can look at it, read it, and get it. Some kids need to look and touch it. You know, you got to be able to be able to under that. But if you don't change the way they think, you ain't going to change their actions. Yep. So if they get in the way, that's just like you getting away with stuff, right? You're doing things. You getting in trouble, things like that, and all that stuff. There's consequences for everything. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? If that's just being, if me being mean, if that's what you call it, but it's like this: anything that you do, the action is a reaction. That's so true. whatever action you do to anything or anybody, it's a reaction. Yeah. And what it's coming down to is that now, when you see kids or kids that's disruptive and things like that, it's no more. You know, sitting them down, and they have bad days. A lot of kids have bad days. They have bad days before they even get to the school. That's true. So my thing, so my thing is, why would you throw them away so quick like that? You can't. I'm not you going. And when I see it happening, you can't. Come on, man. If you had certain heart, things you that, can't. and not even that, if you just went through anything, you don't know the culture. Mm-hmm comes back to that. I used to see kids coming in school, man, early in the morning, first thing, upset, crying. Uh, I'm like, so now you got to, you got to, you got to give extra to these kids. Mm-hmm. That's true. You got to yeah. get them together. Yeah. You got to get true. them together. Come on now. Get your head up. He's good now. Come on. Let's get this going. You know what I'm saying? You have to do that every day. Then it's going to be sometimes you have to pull them to the side and be like, okay, that didn't make sense. <laughs> but, you know, even with me, if I pull you to the side and stop you from doing something that's against the rules or something, I explain it to you. I don't just scream and mm-hmm. say, oh, you did, you know, I explain why it's not good. And it, it leads to things that could happen. That's true. That is true. That is true. That is true. I noticed something else you know? um, that we haven't uh, talked about, but, uh, you're going to have a display in the Walker's uh, American Museum off of 705 uh, Van Buren. How, how do you feel about that? I, I pass by this boy, every day. Boy, you be, you be, you be keeping your eye on your uncle, huh? Man, oh, man. Imagine that. 
بو 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 man oh man boy you, oh you don't really show you showing out tonight huh <laughs> you taught me well you taught me well <laughs> man you showing out you even did bro man i can't i can't even be mad at you man you showed out well man let me you tell you me well you taught me well man let me tell you man that was phenomenal when she called me and said that 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 was it That yeah. was it. Be, and now, now, be, now you know me, being the person who I am, uh-huh. it, needs fixing, it needs fixing over there. But ain't nobody uh-huh. in the community looking, looking at it or trying to fix it or nothing. Guess what? I pass by it every day. It's, 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 it's going to be an awesome place when, you, uh, when, it, when it, every, everything gets in there. I can't wait. Bruh, wait till you see the bruh, – stop playing with me, man. Watch what's getting ready to happen that, that tree, I like that tree the way it is. I like the way the tree keeps – Keep that tree in the front like that. Man, don't worry about the tree. Just worry about all the new up-to-date stuff, the signs, the painting. Yeah, we, you know, I'm here, we got something just, you, you'll know about it. But, man, for that to be, for me to to put my program and what I've done for the kids, man, that's just prices that my grandkids and stuff, man, you know what I'm saying? And that's one thing. My kids and my family is all into this because this is what I do. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be able to go out and do what I do with my family and my kids, especially my kids, man. I got four kids, you know what I'm saying? Right. And my kids, my kids got to be solid for me to be able to even try to help any other kids. That's true. That's true. You, know, you can't, you can't be helping other kids and your kids is always in the news. <laughs> It'd be like, big kids, you helping all these kids, but what happened to your kids? Nah, you ain't got to worry right. about that. All my kids, yeah, all my kids are solid. Why? Exactly. Because, exactly. Yeah, because Dad walk them through everything, and I let them bump their head every once in a while, and come, you know, and that's that's being a dad. But I raise that's my true. kids, so I don't have to raise my grandkids. That's true. I want you to hear so, me. Uh, I raise my kids, so I don't have to raise my grandkids, because so my kids. Grandkids. That, I got you. That's it. My kids oh. raise their kids. I can't wait to see my grandkids when they come. They don't live with me. They come visit me. <laughs> yeah. That's the, that's when you raise your kids. Love. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, but uh, as we go into a uh, close, give them something positive. Give the world something positive that they can um, bite on or eat on as we go. Well, right now, man, my, my thing is, and like I, I said when we first started, man, mental health is, is is at its all-time high, man, and everybody, you know, we all need to look out for each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's going through stuff, and it's okay. And I like to tell a lot of the men, you know, I was in a men's meeting, you know, like, it's okay, man, we can talk. You know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta feed into each other, man. And what we have, the problem is that, You know, everybody think is is bragging and doing things like that, man. It's not even that. It's being successful. That's you right. know what I'm saying? No matter what you do, it's being successful, man. If you ain't part of anything, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You always everything. Is, yeah, everything. Ele- you elevate. You know what I'm saying? When you do the way, even the way I move and I talk to people and things, you know, everybody going through something that don't yeah. nobody know. Everybody. Can, uh, if you find a perfect person that ain't going through something, please run away from them because they from somewhere else. Because, man, oh, man, just now just trying to live and make sure, you know, you can put food on the table. So the only thing I can say, man, is tell everybody love on each other, man. I love everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's going to – people not going to like all the things you say and things you do, but as long as you stay solid and if you stand for something, man, just stay in that line. It's going to be some hard times. Don't quit. Yeah. And don't quit yeah. on yourself. Never quit yes. on you. I bet on me every day. Yes. Gotcha. Gotcha. That makes a lot of sense. Um, I bet on me you... every day. Yeah, man. That makes a lot of sense, Big, Big Keith. You make it, you, you, you're really touching and hitting a lot of buttons tonight, and you are making me proud by, you know, just even talking to you tonight because people needed to hear this. They needed to hear what you had to say. Yeah, and it's not even – it's just that, man, our kids, man, is our future, man. You know what I'm saying? No. And if, and they're so smart and everything now. Imagine a kid that's going through something. Like I have a kid that go to community – that I do diversion court. 
you know, the courts want you the kids to go. They want the kids to stay out of trouble, right? But since you're staying out mm-hmm. of trouble, what you doing with that time? That you're staying out of trouble, right? So what I do, mm-hmm. I put that time that they was getting in trouble, I let them use that time as something that they want to do. That's true. So now I had a girl right. come in, she want to do tattooing, right? I said, you know, I sat down, she's going through some stuff. I said, if you, you could pick two jobs. She said, I want to do hair tattoos. I said, what would be the first one you want to do? She said, tattoo. Next day she came, I have my man in there that do tattoos. He started her off with the little drawing things to do that she got a project to do. Her mama called me today. She's like, oh, my daughter talks about this. She's excited. Why? I just gave her what she wanted. Now, now. Yeah, because, you know, you know, then it's the thing now where people talk about everybody. Man, people talk about me every day. I hate when the kids say that. Oh, they talk about me. Man, they talk about me every day, maybe six times a day. <laughs> bro. They talk about, about Jesus. Yeah, boy, that's free promotion. If you ask me, that's free promotions. Shit, go on, keep talking about me, because that makes other people want to see who I am. Then when they meet me, they be like, man, they said you was this or that. That ain't you. It's because of their insecurities. That's true. That's true. That is true. So why wouldn't I support um, something? Listen, why wouldn't I support something that's helping kids that even if I did support it, it's a win-win because everybody went through bullying, man, in their family. Ain't no one family can say they didn't know nobody or seen it. And it changed people's lives, man. Let me tell you, anybody that got bullied, remember the day, the time, what color they had on, where they was walking. What color shoes? They know everything on that day. It could be 30 years ago. <laughs> that is true. They remember it. That That is that is something they, they will remember. That is something so, they will remember. So, man, first of all, man, I want to say thank you, man. I'm proud, man. You know, today has just been a phenomenal day. You know, a couple of you guys really showed out, came by my school, Dizzy, and he talked to a kid who was so funny that, you know, he got platinum records. I had him since he was 12 years old, and now he's 30. He got platinum records on the road doing all that. And the new kid that I got, Lil Goldie, Prince Goldie, is 12. So now I had him come and sit down with Prince Goldie. Because Prince Goldie, man, you know, I know young talent, man. You know me. I got, I got some young heat. They shoot fire. They shoot fire. Yeah. You know, my right. kids, Biddy Bop and Prince Goldie and them, you know, I got a little gang, man, that they, these new kids that I got for the spring break tour, man, you ready to be phenomenal, but I had Dizzy come and talk to him, man, and I got emotional because I remember when he was sitting there and I was talking to him the same way. Right. And now he came back and he's doing it to somebody. Man, that was, you see a picture, man, I posted on Facebook with them today, you know, in the new studio that the podcast room, oh, you should see the new kids podcast, man. You got to stop by there, man. Check it out. It's off the hook. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. I can't, wait. And, I can't wait. and you might want to get some. You might want to get some T-shirts for your radio station. All right, security's here. Awesome. So we'll check this out. But we are as we're coming to a close. Um, um, where can you be reached at? Well, everybody. First of all, it's ten twenty four West Owens. Don't mind my security dog, man. She she don't bite you, but she'll let you know somebody's coming. No. <laughs> if you call me at 702-292-5023 or you can come down 1024 West Owens Key Point Art and Educational Technical School I'm there 7 in the morning till 7 at night you can go to uh, bigkeepbone at gmail.com send me on, go to the kids website go to bullybuster702.org you can see all the shows you can see the dates that they're going to be doing events there's a lot of things going on, and you can get kids. And remember, we're doing community service. I do all that down there. So if you need community service, GED, anything you need, as long as you're not over 30, I can help you. And if you do, if I can't help you there, I can give you somewhere to find, man. And I just want to say once again, man, thank you, man. I'm so proud of you, man. You got to come and see me tomorrow, man. I got to give you a hug, man. You really did your thing, man. I really appreciate the time for me able to be on your show, and you be able to do it and do it the way you did it, man. So God Amen. bless you, man. Awesome. It says uh, dignity had had always gotten us through. It was a, a choice and not always the easy one. But the people respect most in life made it again and again every single day. That's Michelle Obama. Have a blessed day.
Join me as your host, Roger Swift, every Wednesday, Musicians Matters Podcast, live right here at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Positive Power, 21 Christian Media, LLC. Let's go! You're listening to Do Worldwide Podcast.